with some technical difficulties to contend with early on Friday night, but Wexford's bid for cup advancement got off to a near perfect start. Six minutes gone, Eric Malloy sent clear to calmly slot past Ger Doherty for the opener. Far better pictures, and they saw a far better Derry side over the balance of the 90. It was Derry who had the best of the chances. This one falling to Lucas Schubert, unable to find a way past Graham Doyle. But the visitors would get the goal their play deserved, shortly approaching half time. Connor McDermott finding Rory Patterson, his shot deflected into the net. But it was Wexford Youths who came closest to claiming first blood in the second half. Eric Malloy, the provider. Paul Murphy, unable to find the net, should have done far better from close range. But the chances kept going the way of the candy stripes. Dean Jarvis nearly allowed the freedom of Ferry Carrick Park. He found Rory Patterson, but Patterson could only find the goalkeeper. Wexford eventually clearing their lines. Would Derry's dominance eventually bear fruit? Conor McDermott was the next to try and secure a breakthrough. Again, a Derry player allowed far too much time and space to advance. His shot from distance, calling the keeper into a fine save. Wexford found themselves increasingly pinned into their own half as Derry pressed on. The home side enduring relentless pressure and encouraging the visitors to just try and break them down. Barry McNamee the next to go close. McDermott's cross knocked down by Patterson. McNamee's shot saved by the impressive, if overworked, Doyle. But eventually the dam would be breached. Aaron McEnough's free finding the frame of the goal. Schubert quickest to react. Derry finding themselves deservingly 2-1 up on the 67th minute. But it was time for the home side to now try and restore parity. Again, a Route 1 approach on display. Eric Malloy, the eventual benefactor, but unable to find the target. He too should have done better. Fixture and cup advancement very much in the mix, and Derry pressed on to try and see out the tie. The ball worked well wide, but Derry again unable to find their range. Would a place in the final four finally await the Derry management? That answer arrived in the final four minutes of the game, and to be fair, it was little more than Derry deserved for the pressure they had applied. Barry McNamee would eventually prove to be the hero. Wexford unable to relieve the Derry pressure. The ball eventually finding its way to the midfielder. His progress into the box not stopped. Eventually finding a way past Doyle to put the game beyond doubt. Derry's march towards the first cup title since 2012 rolls on. They ran out 3-1 winners on the night. Two routes to Europe still exist for Derry. For Wexford, attention switches back to avoiding the relegation playoff.